I wanted to take advantage of a couple of uh, clone gate drivers I had laying around. So got one in here and it's basically Steve Ward micro SSTC circuit. Kind of like this one I have over here I made. Simple and basic. Runs off the antenna. But like that one, it's just got the uh, Schmidt trigger feedback right before the uh, gate driver. Try to get the primary tuned uh, as an LC circuit, sort of like Class C operation, like Steve Ward did his. In practice, I've found this to be a lot harder than it sounds. So I can take this guy, I've got it at uh, 15 volts now. So I've got a kick started currently. I kind of kick started like that on about an amp or so. A real serious breakout. It's a decent little breakout. But you can see uh, what I end up with here is basically I've got sort of a dirty ringing gate signal. And then my drain voltage swings up to about 100 volts coming back down. MOSFET switching back on when it's still got you know, a good deal of voltage on it. See I've got this ringing going on as it starts to swing back towards negative. Not an ideal switching waveform. But the whole point is, is look what happens when I uh, load it down. So when I start to pull a streamer, you see how much this changes. Right? Seems like if you do get it switching nice, you just have to let it sit there and run. Having said that, seems like there's some various tuning that you can get where it'll still run fairly well. <clears throat> Again, you can see that looks pretty ugly, but uh, a couple amps. 20 volts, pull some hot arcs. Turn it to uh, like 30. It's already about four amps or so. Pull some pretty serious arcs. Just pulling a little arc. See what happens as I'm pulling the arc. Alright. But now let's load it with something like this right here. So if I'm loading it like that, then you can see what happens now. I've been able to come pretty close to uh, a double class E type setup with these guys, you know, something like that. Um, I don't have it cut all the way up right now, but something like that of, uh, you know, like a couple little fits like that, set up like that. It doesn't seem as hard to get it tuned to to pretty close to a uh, Class E. Problem is, that's with a very specific tuning. And, uh, you know, once you start loading it down, you know, once again, all that pretty much changes. It seems like it'd be real hard to get one going with a, with a real nice bush, not really heating your uh, MOSFET a whole lot. And you can still pull any kind of arcs with it maintaining ZBS. All right, so now I've taken the primary I had before, disconnected it, shoved it all the way down to the bottom. Windings on this one start about like up here, effectively down to two turns now. I started putting out significantly more power this way. That's the waveform now. It's still kind of ringing as it's going back negative, but it's amplitude has dropped quite a bit on it. Pull some pretty pretty decent little arcs for uh, 12 volts. You know, it's pulling that up to about 24 watts, up to about 48. And again, it's the waveform pulling arcs, but uh, yeah, quite a quite a stronger field with this one. And again, if I put that type of load on it, see what happens. Bump it up, starts pulling like uh, four amps already, about sixteen volts or so.
about 30 volts, this really starts putting out. Oh, the battery kicked out. Alright, so before, I was just basically tuning around with this thing, uh, just going by the output. So, I'm trying to maximize my output, not really too concerned about what the waveform looks like. Now, I'm going to try to actually tune it to ZVS to see, you know, what the difference is. Seems like it was a little more forgiving without a top load. So, right now, I've just got a wire poked out. I'm back to this original primary. And I've had to sit it all the way at the bottom down here. So I've got a pretty loose coupling there. I've added onto this 6.8 nanofarad cap a bunch of little multi-layer ceramics. And I just kept stacking them on. Real tiny. Got this at 12 volts. I'm going to cut that on. Kick start it. So the difference is here. So now I've got pretty close to the switching that I'm looking for right I don't have this huge gap now after it cuts off to where it looks sort of like a phasing issue I'm not real sure and you can see it's cutting back on again when there's a little bit of volts on it but if I uh, move my hand load it a little bit you see what happens so basically the idea I get this is more or less how you want to tune it right to where once you do load it that's what it starts looking like right there but before it's loaded you don't really have ZVS right you know with this kind of operation I'm pulling a little bit under a amp or so real like flaky kind of discharge right can't pull any like real hot arcs or anything um, let me cut the voltage up so I'm at 20 now Still pulling about an amp or so. So that's what it starts to look like. So basically as I raise the voltage and that streamer comes out a little bit more, I get a little closer to ZBS. But again, um, very flaky type of part. And as I load it, I don't really lose it too much. All right. Look, put it at uh, 30. So at 30, you know, still, still there a little bit. I get a little ringing as it's going negative. This is 500 kilohertz, by the way. And let's try this load. You see, as I load it like this, it's not really flipping around and going nuts like it was before. All right sort of maintaining the same switching more or less All right. so <laughs> again um, you know it's a little counterintuitive so with this type of tuning obviously um, this MOSFET is not going to get very hot at all right but, you know, at the same time, I'm not pushing a whole lot of power. That's the thing. I'm only pulling like an amp, 30 watts. So, I mean, it's not going to get hot anyway. It kind of sucks because if the idea is you want to push a lot of power out of a big fat bush, um, you pretty much have to get your zero volt switching tuned at that output. So, I mean, doing what I'm doing at lower voltages, it's just not going to work. When you crank it all the way up, it's all going to change around. Um, so it's more or less like a trial and error almost it seems like kind of have to start switching real crappy at the lower voltages keep going up and up and up and eventually as you keep tuning and tuning you'll get closer to ZVS at your desired max output whereas in this case you know it's not appealing to me because you know the switching I had before while it will still generate more heat in that MOSFET I could pull really hot arcs and get really nice output um, to where, you know, it really wasn't making that much of a difference in the heating. To me, I throw a little fan on and run the higher output, pulling more power. It's more impressive. It's really no big deal. Whereas in this case, I could probably even bump that heat sink down. You know, something like this guy, even smaller. No need for a fan. can 
run it all day long won't even get hot but you know again i'm not really getting crazy output 